Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Allison, and I make cleaning and lifestyle videos every week. Today I'm going to be reviewing Comet Cleaner. This is what I use to clean my sink sometimes. I have used this in the past, and I do like it, but I wanted to give you sort of an overall opinion and review so you can decide if this is a product you'd like to purchase for yourself. It comes in the sort of long tube container. This one's a little bit extra large. It's 48% more than the normal size because it was a better bargain. And I will put the price over here so you know roughly how much this costs. I think it's somewhere around a dollar. It's a pretty inexpensive product. It does say you can use it on sinks and countertops. It also says you can use it on some stoves, bathrooms. This does have a variety of different uses that you can use it for. I generally have only really used it on my kitchen sink. I have also used it on my counters a little bit. Sometimes I'll get a stain and then I will pull this out and use that on the stain. And it does work pretty well. So I wanted to show you how it works and give you my opinion. Um, it does come with this little flap here that's sort of paper and there's holes you can see. And that's how it comes out of the product it is a powder. It does have bleach in it, so you do need to be careful if you have children, making sure that they don't have access to this because there's really nothing keeping them out of the actual product, except for this little flap. I do wish these companies would make a little bit more child-friendly design on these sort of containers because it's really not convenient for people that have young children to have something that's really this easy for a kid to get into, but that's just my opinion. I'm gonna, I left my sink dirty so you can see what it looks like before and after, and I'm just gonna show you kind of a close-up of what it looks like as I'm using it. And I'll start by showing you just a close-up of the dirty sink so you can see what that looks like. And then I'll put the comment in and give it a good scrub and show you the close-up of the before and after. So let's get started. Now I'm going to be starting on the left side first and then I'll go over to the right side. That way you can look at the two side by side. So I'm just going to sprinkle some in the sink. And I like to use a pretty heavy amount. I don't want to go too light just so you can really see how well I'm going in there. And I'll just sort of show you how much I'm putting on the sink. There is also a lot of dust that comes out of this as you may be able to see on the video. Just tapping it gives a lot of dust. So you want to be careful that you're not inhaling any of the product that comes out of the container when it's doing that. And just, you're just tapping it makes a little bit of a dust stream. I also would recommend putting on gloves when you're using this because it does have bleach in it. I'm not going to put on gloves just because I'm filming the video, but normally I do like to have gloves or something on to protect my hands when I'm using this product, so that's just something to keep in mind. I'm taking a sponge. And I'm going to go really lightly first, just lightly over everything, and then I'm going to get there and really scrub so you can see both ways. I may just do a light cleaning on one side and then a scrubbing on the other so you can really see what the difference is if you get in there with some elbow grease. But here we go. Now it is getting kind of uh, clogged up on the sponge. I'm going to rinse the sponge out. So this here is just with sort of a light going over of the sink. I'm going to go back in and scrub it really deeply, but you can see it's already made some improvement on how the sink looks. So now let's go in there and really scrub. And time to rinse. There still are a few little spots that didn't completely come off. I may need to go in with a little more elbow grease to get those spots or try a different cleaner. I don't know if it's just something I have to really work at, but I do see a big difference between what it looked like before and what it looks like now, and I'll show you that as well. This side over here is the one that has been cleaned with the Comet, and this one is the still dirty side, so you can see side by side. I'm going to go ahead and clean the other side just so you can see a nice bright sink and what it looks like when it's all finished. I'll do the same thing I did on the other side. So there's what the completed sink looks. You can see it looks a lot brighter, a lot cleaner. It looks like a nice, fresh, 
beautiful kitchen sink, so I really admit, so I really like the improvement it made to my sink. It was not really difficult to scrub. It was kind of came off really easily, and it came out of the bottle easily. So I think that was a pretty good result for the inexpensive product. I did also want to show you how it works on my counters. I noticed they have a couple little spots that could use some scrubbing, so I'm going to show you on my counter how it works cleaning that as well. I have used it on the counters before, and I know it doesn't scratch. So you might want to test if you're using this on a counter or a sink ahead of time to make sure it's not going to scratch the surfaces that you have. But for me, I know it's a safe product to use, so I'm going to go ahead and use it on my countertop as well, and I'll show you that here. Now there's a little bit of a dark spot right about here that I want to try to get off, so I'm just going to kind of clean the whole area with this Comet. And I am using the flat side of the sponge, not the scrubbing side. As you can see, that made a pretty big difference on my countertop. It looks a lot brighter. That little spot's not there anymore. It took all the little staining and darkness off. And it looks, like a it looks much brighter and nicer and cleaner. So I think it was really effective at doing that cleaning on the counter as well. So for my overall review of this product, I think I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five stars. The only reason I'm taking anything away is really because of this um, top part that's not really child friendly and I think that could be a little bit dangerous if you have kids, but everything else about this product I really like. It's a good price. It works well. It's easy to use. I actually think this sort of style is very easy to use, having it into something that you can shake out. I just wish there was like a twist lid or something on the top. So I think that's a really good product. I would recommend this product for you if you're wondering if you should purchase it or not. And you know, it's inexpensive, so even if you don't like it, you're not out of a huge amount of money if you try it out and don't like it. Um, make sure if you do get it, that you do try it out on whatever surface that you're using first, just so you don't damage anything. But I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for coming by, and I hope you all have a beautiful day today. Bye.